This is the B-36 Peacemaker behind me, built by Convair to deliver an atomic bomb anywhere in the world. It's a huge plane with a wingspan greater than a 747. It has 10 engines. No other plane was ever built with 10 engines. Of those 10 engines, six of them are reciprocating piston engines. Now, let's go look at some other planes. The Boeing B-50, the successor to the B-29. This was built after the Second World War. The Stratofreighter KC-97, built by Boeing, is based on the B-50 design and is powered by four massive 28-cylinder engines. To say that Aerospace Line's Guppy has an unusual appearance is an understatement. It was built to ferry special cargo. The Fairchild C-119 flying boxcar is easy to recognize with this twin-boom fuselage. Notice this one has a jet engine added to the pylon on top. You may recall that this is the plane featured in the film The Flight of the Phoenix. A plane such as this one was flown to Africa and the jet engine removed for filming purposes. In the film, parts of the plane's wreckage was used to build a plane. You may recall that shotgun shells were used to crank the engine. All of the planes we've seen share one thing in common. The Pratt & Whitney R4360 Wasp Major engine. It is commonly known as a corncob engine. Come on, let's look inside at the engine in the hangar. Here you see the engine without cowling or propellant. Why is it called a corncob engine? Let's look at an air corn. Looking at the end, notice how the kernels are arranged around the cob. This is a radial engine. Seven cylinders are arranged around the crankshaft, much as the kernel around the cob. From the side, notice there are rows of kernels. There are four rows of cylinders. Notice how the banks of cylinders are staggered to ensure better airflow. This is an air-cooled engine. The model designation of the engine is R4260, is derived from the displacement of 4,360 cubic inches displacement, or about 71 liters. Your average passenger car engine has about 2.5 liters displacement. The cylinders on this engine are almost big enough to insert a 2 liter soda bottle. This engine gulped 195 gallons of aviation gasoline per hour, which was fed to the engine via a single carburetor and a supercharger. Each cylinder has two spark plugs for a total of 56. The engine produced 3,500 horsepower, but the turbocharged engines could produce 4,500 horsepower. It weighed 3,400 pounds and produced over one horsepower per pound. Quite an achievement for an aviation engine. This engine, the Pratt & Whitney R4360 Walsh Major Engine, otherwise known as a corn cob, was installed in 24 different aircraft. Among these were the Goodyear F2G Super Corsair, the Northrop YB-35 Flying Wing, the Hughes H4 Hercules, otherwise known as the Spruce Goose. With the advent of jet and turboprop engines, the reciprocating engines were rarely used.